Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Bakiyar, Shoya, Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Hawa Kakodash, from the Holy Spirit of Truth. And this is going to be a quick video because um, I'm on a time constraint. I got to go to the plantation soon. But um, really, soon enough, that, 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 might not, um, that might not be the reality, all right? Because Babylon, along with the rest of the world, seems to be sh shutting down due to this coronavirus, all right? Uh, you have certain schools, um, colleges, and even high schools, elementary schools, middle schools, so on and so forth. They're telling their students uh, 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 to stay at home. All right, I know uh, the colleges out here in Iowa is telling the students not to come back after uh, spring break. All right, because that's how rapidly this uh, disease is spreading. Whether it's a, a real or not, or whatever it may be, it, they're they're using this coronavirus, quote unquote, to shut down America and. Um, in their mind, they're getting closer to implementing their new world order. But in retrospect, the Lord is uh, uh, using this to bring in their end, to bring in their downfall. The Lord is going to disappoint the um, enterprise uh, of the uh, of the wicked man. All right, He's not going to allow you to fill your belly, to to fill your desires. All right. So without further ado, this is Isaiah chapter 24 in verse one. It says, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. The Lord is going to the, the Lord is has begun to visit this place. All right? I did a lesson, Lord. I did a lesson through the spirit last week on how the Lord is visiting this place. And we go into these different scriptures. The Lord gave us signs. All right. He will visit this place with fire, with the flames of devouring fire. Australia was on fire for, for damn near a whole year. All right. And it's just now starting to slow down. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places. All right. That that goes without saying that there's those are constantly happening. All right. All, all around the world every single day. OK. Uh, uh, the pestilence, this 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 coronavirus. Right. Um, wars and rumors of wars. World War Three. I believe Iraq just got the uh, U.S. base in Iraq just got hit with 10 rockets. You can look into that. All right. So all the signs of Yahweh said that there will be uproars of the people in all the in all the world. All right. And, and uh, uh, that's that's going on, man. The yellow vest, vest protest still still continuing. But we're going to see those those things slow down because this coronavirus is shutting everything down through this coronavirus. They're beginning to quarantine. They're calling the National Guard. All right. And, and those those are just all cold words for martial law, really, which all goes back to the scriptures. OK, it says and it shall be. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly empty. So everybody's going to be on the same level, man. Don't matter what your occupation is, who the fuck you are, all right? <laughs> you, you, you better be in the same boat as everybody else. It says the land shall be utterly emptied. And utterly spoiled, for the Lord hath spoken this word. So the Lord is gonna clip. It's really the Lord's agenda. He's gonna bring the new world order, and in that new world order is gonna dwell righteousness, man. All right, Esau, your time is up. All right, it says in the book of Revelations that the devil, the serpent, shall be loosed a little season. Your little season has come to an end, and you realize that, but you're trying to do everything that you can to hold on to this wicked, vile society. It says it in Revelations, the 12th chapter, it says the devil shall come down onto you having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. All right, so he's speeding everything up. He's trying to get his agenda, his, agenda, his so-called new world order implemented. All right. And he's trying to use this crisis of the coronavirus to do so. All right. But but the Lord's going to shut all that down. All right. Your time is up. Your time is finished. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. If we're in the end of your world and when Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom the world only calls Jesus Christ, when he makes his return, he's coming to finish you all the way to fuck off, man. All right. And, and I just did a lesson yesterday through the spirit on the uh, 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 the a huge, gigantic uh, uh, chariot seen on the radars coming towards Earth. All right, 
We'll get used to seeing that. Well, they're already used to seeing that since 2014. All right, the the um the Pentagon said that they've been seeing chariot sighting, so-called UFO, so-called UAPs since uh, uh uh every day since uh 2014, man. All right, so they're getting scared. That's why they got the Space Force, the sixth branch of the military, because they know Yahweh Shai is on his way back, and when he comes back, the Lord is gonna force put the spirit on them to fight him, and he's gonna destroy all these armies of the earth. That's why it says on his head was many crowns, because he's gonna conquer the whole entire planet. All right, he's going to conquer the whole entire planet and then he's going to give it into the hands of the meek, the humble, his servants, the prophets. It says the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish. Right, this place is fading away, man. All right, this place is finished, this place is through. All right, and, the, and, and it's just going to, and we're going to see it pass quickly. All right, we're going to see this this kingdom fall quickly. I beheld Satan cast down, cast down as lightning. All right, that's what Yahweh Shai said. So that shows you what, how quickly this devil is going to come down. All right, how, how quick, Lord willing, by the end of this year, we out of here. All right, next year, we can be out of here, man. That, that's my mentality. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws. Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. So this place is all backwards and, and, and sideways, man. All right. Why? Because the laws of the Bible is not being implemented. If the laws of the scriptures was being implemented, we wouldn't see all this filth upon the earth, man. All right. You, we wouldn't see all these different things happening. But since the laws of the Bible is not being implemented and not being enforced. All right. That's why all this confusion is happening upon the planet. All this wickedness is happening, and that's why the Lord is sending these plagues, all right? Because of the wickedness of this place. Let me grab that real fast. This is just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, like I said, I got to go to the plantation, and I would have been mad at myself if I didn't put something up. <clears throat> so this is, um, not Sirach, it's Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 15, and I'll start at the top. Second Ezra 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is the words of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and the name was only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. This is not my words, all right? This is the spirit of the Lord that's speaking through me, telling you that all these things are going to happen, telling you that America is soon to be destroyed, that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's going to get put out of rulership. But before that, he's going to cause a fuss like a little bitch. All right. He's going to cause a fuss. Satan shall come down having great wrath. He's going to uh, because he knows that he has but a short time. He's going to throw a temper tantrum, man. All right. And in this temper tantrum is going to be known as Jacob's trouble, man. Martial law is going to be implemented. They're going to target so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. I had a dream last night that there's some um some police officers came into my house. All right. <laughs> and, and, and they got their ass whooped. <laughs> it, uh, the scriptures say in Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. It says that the when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard uh, 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 against them, man. All right. So do whatever you got to do and do it quickly. But know when you come and do it, that the Lord is going to show miracles within our lives, man. It says that the angels of the Lord encamp around them that fear him. All right. So be prepared to see miracles. Be prepared to have celestial beings step in the way, man. All right. It says, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. So everything that we're reading out the Bible is faithful and true. How do we know that? Because we see it coming into fruition as we speak. Verse three, it says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right. Don't fear the the the, uh, the imaginations that the wicked thoughts that these people have against us. They have it. Uh, uh, the uh, King Alfred plan. All right. Rex 84. Uh, uh, um, the. The. Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the other one, but even the FEMA list, the FEMA list, where they're going to try to target, where they're going to try to target the Israelites. We don't have to fear none of those things, man. All right. Verse four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. They're going to die, man. All right. The Lord is coming back to save the faithful. So as long as we're faithful, we're going to be saved. It says, he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. In the book of Ephesians, the second chapter says, by grace are ye saved through faith. Which is not of yourselves, but it's a gift that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So the Lord has gifted us with faith and we have to pray for more faith and he'll give it to us uh, uh, liberally, right? Verse 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and 
the slaki. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So the Lord is bringing plagues. The Lord is bringing the pestilence. The Lord is bringing the sword, famine, death and destruction. Why? Because the wickedness of this place has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. That goes back to what? The laws not being upheld. All right. Back in Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 5, it says the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the law, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. And because they transgressed the laws, because they changed the ordinances and broken the everlasting covenant, that's why the Lord is sending the plagues upon this place. The sword, famine, death and destruction upon this place. All right. In the book of uh, um, Revelations, it says that the Lord will destroy him that destroyeth the earth. So this devil is done. He's through. Verse 6, it says, Therefore have the curse devoured the, the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. It's going to be a small, very small. The Lord is going to depopulate this place. Not Esau, Edom, man. All right. The Lord is using you. He'll use you a little bit. All right. But soon you're going to be of no value but to be servants unto the Israelites as you was created to do, man. You was created to be a slave. And it was told that was told to uh, 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 and that was told to you when you were um, in the womb, man, that the elder shall serve the younger. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called him Esau, whose name was later changed to Edom, which is talking about you so-called white people. And the younger brother's name is Jacob. All right. Who is the forefather of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. His name was later changed to Israel. All right. He's the forefather of the Israelites. Scattered uh, the, the Israelites being the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the, and the seed of Israel that's been scattered across the four corners of the earth. That may not identify as themselves. May not, uh, may not identify themselves as those titles, man. All right. It says, there have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. So that's, that's how the Lord is going to clean this place. The first death is when the Lord cleaned the earth with water. The second death is when the Lord is going to clean this place with fire. It says, the wine mourneth, the divine languish, all the merry hearted do sigh, all the merry hearted do sigh. The Lord is taking the mirth away from, um, um, uh, from America. They're shutting down all these events. All right. All the bread and circuses are being shut down. Basketball, NCAA shut and shit down indefinitely. All right. All this shit is getting shut down. This whole this whole world, this whole society is going to come to an end. It's going to come to a halt. All right. Verse eight, it says the mirth of tablet ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoice if endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it, right? All this shit's going to be done with. You're not going to be able to go to the club every damn weekend and shake your ass, all right? You're not going to be able to do all the shit that you be doing. Life is going to change quickly and speedily, all right? And it's going to come upon you people unawares. You still caught up. You still think this shit's not going to happen. You still think that nothing's going to happen to you fucking Americans, but it's going to happen, and it's going to happen quickly and speedily in the worst way you thought it was bad in china you thought it was bad in italy you thought the yellow vest protest was bad in france you thought they were struggling down there in venezuela well just wait till it comes here to america man verse 10 it says the city of confusion is broken down every house is shut up that no man may come in this place is being broken down soon they gonna start quarantining people don't come out of your house if you come out of your house we killing you on sight man all right Verse 11, it says, there's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The mirth, the joy, the happiness of this place is going to disappear. The only ones that's going to be smiling is the prophets. Why? Because they see, the, the, because we see that this place is coming to an end and that our salvation is nearer than we believe and that our redemption draweth nigh. All right. It says, there's a crying for wine in the streets. Yeah, that wine is talking about this truth. All right. And the wine was what made to be to make men merry. All right. So without this truth, you're not going to have the comfort when all this hell breaks out loose. It says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at times the strength of salvation, man. So without that wisdom and uh, 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 knowledge and understanding, you're not going to be stable. You're not going to be strong. You're going to be weak in the knees. All right. SWB. Niggas going to be feeble out here, man. All right. But Lord willing, we trust in y'all by some y'all shine to the end. And we going to be bold. He is not giving us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, man. All right. Verse 12, it says in the city is left desolation and in the gate is smitten with destruction. When thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall be as a shaking of an olive tree and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done. 
Uh, the Lord's shaking this damn place up, man. All right. And, and, and it all is going to end. It, all this is going to end with nuclear fire. All right. That's going to be the end of this place. And I'm going to jump down to that and then we're going to finish it up. All right. This is Isaiah 24. Uh, I started 17. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. And it shall come to pass that who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be shaken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake. Right. The windows on high. That's what the Lord swore being bathed in heaven coming down upon my dumia. That's talking about the nuclear war that's soon to take place. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. It's going to be a great earthquake. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again right it shall fall and not rise again speaking of this devil man esau edom he'll, he'll he's we're in the midst of his downfall all right in the book of job it says he shall be afraid of terrors on every side and it shall drive him to his knees and he'll never rise again isaiah 14 and 21 it says prepare slaughter for the children for the iniquities of their forefathers that they do not rise nor possess the land uh, 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 nor fill the earth with the um with their cities roughly paraphrasing man right so this is the end of your this is the lord said uh, uh, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, for the iniquity of Zion is accomplished. I will no more carry thee into captivity, but I will visit the sins of Esau, Edom. That's in the book of Lamentation, the fourth chapter, the 21st verse, man. All right. So you're done. You through, man. All right. I, I wish I could grab all those precepts, but like I said, I, I have to get to the plantation. So Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Chakodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Chakodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well. Shalom wahabla baki yashar yasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom akim, brothers, keep on pushing. Stay, stay faithful. Stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh. Redemption is nearer than when we believe. Shalom.